Alaikum, Wallace Institute of Islam and Salam to people wanting to learn about Islam. I'm Iman or Aisha is my Muslim name. Um, I would like to tell you how I came to Islam because I, I would like to share it with people who are interested as well because people that think about is like Islam and want to convert it's a really big step and you have to think about family or friends work stuff like that can get like like can be what can you call affected by it um, well I came to Islam when the start of 2007 um, I started to take studies of religion at school it really did help me because I didn't restrict myself to God. I was reading about Hinduism, Buddhism, Sikhism, things from the ages like from hundreds of years ago. I was reading about everything. And I was Christian, um, I was baptized, but I'm from England originally before I moved to Australia and life has a meaning, what I should have told myself this a reason why we're here and I would like I would like I would love to have known who put me here and I believed in God but I didn't believe that Jesus blessings and peace be upon him um, was the son so I started reading I, I found Islam and as soon as I read it uh, the first paragraph about what Islam meant the word Islam but it's a meaning to Allah was meaningful to me. Just the word of the religion means a lot to me. And I mean, why would we worship someone that got a message from Allah when we could have we could worship Allah because He's the one that was giving the message to people. And Alhamdulillah that we have people of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And like, why can't we worship Him? You know. So I started going to lectures and stuff like that and I found a beautiful family of sisters and they're like my family now and I said my shahada about four months ago, five months ago, the best day of my life, tears everywhere but I would like people to know that you can do it. I mean my family don't know and about five of my friends know, only my Muslim friends, um, I haven't told any of my Christian friends because I don't think it would go down too well because in Australia people are very strict of their religion. Um, people are very supportive. Um, Muslim people are very supportive, and you always have somewhere to go. Um, I won't tell my family now because I was with them and it, I love them so much. But they know that I'm um, a big, um, um, me and a boy called Musa are seeing each other, and. Um, they're very supportive of it and they know that if I get married, if I put the scarf on, they don't really mind. Um, but I would really tell people um, thinking of reverting to take it slow, um, learn prayer, uh, learn words like inshallah, mashallah, stuff like that, keywords of Islam to use in your everyday language because it's hard to say it like I don't always say it which I really should but I say it around certain people like if I'm with my mom I wouldn't say it um, if I'm with my friends that are Christian I wouldn't say it um, but yeah I have to start saying it but it's hard but I'd work at it I'd work at saying them things and Hopefully, inshallah, everyone will see the light of Allah. That is my wish. I, I wish every human being that was born Muslim, everyone is born Muslim on this earth. And I wish that they would stay on that path and it will see the light of Allah subhanAllah. And if anyone has any questions, please post me a comment, message me, and um, inshallah, in time I will get back to you because there's not enough like, knowledge in this world about Allah and Islam and everything to do with Islam. And um, I would learn from it too. Like if you have a question, I'll research and maybe I won't know that. I mean, people, sheikhs, don't know everything. Um, there's always more to learn about Islam and I am willing to learn the utmost 
anything that I can. And people can help me if you think that I need to know a lot of stuff, then let me know. Um, well, that's it really. Um, just I would really like to say to take it slow. Don't rush into everything. And salam.